International Service for Human Rights. You have the floor. This is a joint statement. Every human rights situation must be dealt with on its merits, with council members ensuring a principled and consistent application of international law and standards, including in all situations of occupation. We firmly condemn all crimes under international law committed by both Israel and Palestinian armed groups. Targeted and indiscriminate attacks against civilians can never be justified. We call on the ICC to accelerate its investigation into serious crimes committed by all parties in Palestine and Israel. We call on Israel to ratify the Rome Statute and for the ICC to hold both state and non-state perpetrators accountable. We call on the Commission of Inquiry to address the situation within the context of its root causes, settler colonialism, apartheid, and denial of the fundamental rights to self-determination and return of the Palestinian people, all amounting to grave violations of international law. We call on governments to immediately stop providing political and military support to Israel, while ministers manifest a genocidal intent against Palestinians. We deplore the dehumanization of all people, including not mentioning Palestinian civilian killings in statements in this council. As we gear up to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we remind this council that for 75 years, generations of people in Gaza and historic Palestine have not been born free and equal in dignity and rights. Until this is addressed, the cycles of violence will not end. As Israel continues to bomb the Rafah crossing, the international community has a duty to guarantee immediate humanitarian access to besieged Gaza. We call on states to establish an international protective presence in the OPT as called for by UN special procedures. For 75 years, the international community has enabled impunity and failed to fulfill the right to self-determination of Palestinian people, including through their legitimate right to resist colonialism. The Council has shown that it does have an important role to play in addressing violations amidst multiple human rights crises. We welcome the establishment of the mechanism on Sudan and the extension of the Special Rapporteur on Russia inter area in this regard. This stands in stark contrast to its failure to renew the critical mandate on Ethiopia, particularly in light of the expert finding of an acute risk of ongoing and further atrocity crimes. We welcome the resolutions on reprisals, preventable mater maternal mortality and morbidity, privacy, death penalty, racism, working group on people of African descent, working group on the rights of peasants and other people working in rural areas, Afghanistan, technical cooperation focus on the UPR, Cambodia and older persons. We regret, however, that the, that the Council failed to adequately respond to the situations in Yemen and in China, despite the ongoing war crimes and crimes against humanity, respectively. Finally, we note the outcomes of the Human Rights Council elections. We welcome that Russia's candidacy was defeated, but regret that the election of other members responsible for atrocity crimes, widespread civil society repression, and patterns of reprisals. The full version of this statement will be uploaded on the extranet. Thank you.